Hi, this is Ryan, and this is just a quick tutorial on how to uh, create custom content on Gem without re without having to have any knowledge of HTML or web design. So let's get started. First, you have to log into the admin area of your Gem software or Gem website to add new content. You can click on content, manage content, add content. This will open up the uh, manage content window where you'll have uh, access to an HTML editor that allows you to uh, create the content pages that you want that will automatically be shown on your GEM website. So let's just quickly type in a uh, sample test area here, test content here, let's just say test uh, page. Here you can pretty much type in any content that you want. You can also upload photos, link to uh, different websites, as well as uh, you know format the different uh, content areas that you want to do here. So let's go ahead and uh, just do a quick test here. Let's do uh, welcome to our site. And let's upload a insert a photo from our server here. Now notice uh, this is the actual images folder on your gem installation. Um, you can select any images that you want maybe you want to you know insert an Im a product image or um, you can even upload your own images here as well you can click on browse and uh, you know if you want to upload a photo or upload something else you can do that just as easily um, what we're going to do is we've already uploaded a sample photo here we're going to use this home.png sample we'll go ahead and use that click OK notice it's already on the page um, what we'll do also is uh, we'll change this to be a heading center it up Oops. Uh, center it now this is uh, the content that we're going to use for this test now we'll click on the options tab now we're going to, there's a couple of different ways here for content. Um, Gem allows you to create a blog as well as a regular web page. So for this test, we're going to use the standard content type, which is um, the option that you're going to need for uh, to be able to publish a web page style, web page content type. So let's go ahead and click standard, set the status to active. Okay. Now we're just going to click submit to save this content. Notice it's been saved and there's a new link directly for it. If you do click that link it will go to your web page that will show the actual content that's now on your gem website. Very easy. You can also uh, you know, you can update that with any any anything you'd like. You can create tables or even put flash. If you have a flash uh, video you want to put, you can also do that. If you um, are somewhat proficient with HTML and you'd like to hand code it yourself, you can click on the source button here and uh, add any HTML code that you'd like. Um, what else? So another option for those of you that are a little bit more advanced you can click on the options tab and uh, if you already have a file that you'd like to publish in on your gem site for instance an, an actual HTML page um, you can also set the content type to advanced and type in the full the full path to the to the actual web page here so for instance you have uh, a web page that's you know web page.html you'll have to type in the, the full physical path that's you know where that HTML page is 
on your on your website so that Gem can parse that, uh, include that uh, web page onto um, its actual content area. So if you know if you want to do something like that, you can do that as well. So that's pretty much it for uh, creating co uh, custom content in Gem. You can add as much as many custom content pages as you want. Um, another thing too is if you'd like to quickly link to this page, you can copy this link, click on design and the menu maker area. And if let's say for instance you want to put that on the top menu, let's say uh, test, uh, I'll just say welcome, that's going to be a welcome page. Type in the, or copy the link URL here, click submit and that will automatically show up on the top on your top menu bar so if you click refresh notice the welcome link here so you can go to your home page and you can easily add new links on your menu bars and also you can do that on the footer down here and uh, also here on the links box so if you click that it'll go right back to that content page we just created. So that's it for now. Thanks again.